What's up, guys? Uh, we are back in infraspace in this deserted alien planet. I say alien not because there's aliens here, but because it's a foreign planet. To us humans who are now inhabiting these residential buildings, slowly growing up from these nice habitats and decent habitats, and even further back, the basic habitat, we are growing steadily. And our population is swarming as we have 778 people with a, you know, possibility of, oh, let me make sure the game's actually paused. I'm going to pause the game. <laughs> possibility of 844 people. We only have half of that in jobs. So we really need to, uh, we need to step up the production of jobs. We also need to kind of redo our, uh, you know, infrastructure, our our infrastructure is the words I'm looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let's just start getting rid of some of this stuff. We've got it on pause, so I'm not too worried about it. And again, this just is to give us space. We need space to kind of move out. We should see power go way down, right? Ah, uh, we still have quite a bit of power. Um, it must be a lot coming from these. Not going to get rid of the power lines. At least those power lines. Um, and I think, all right, let's see how this looks. Let's start, uh, gassing up with some power here. One. Ooh, I was hoping. Can't quite make it onto that. That's okay. Uh, I don't want to go that far out, actually. So we're going to kind of start re... Oh, can I put it inside the mountain here? No, I couldn't. It just didn't say that I couldn't. So technically all of these are, you know, connected. So if you see, like all of these connect and then that one connects to this, but that doesn't really help us um, because, well, no, it should all be connected. So if we hit start, yeah, okay, it's connected. That is a lot of power. We don't need this much power, at least right now. So I'm going to hold off uh, on more production of that. We are also using a lot of concrete. We need to start using steel because we have too much steel. I'm going to put another construction material storage over here. Maybe doesn't make sense because these only hold these things, including adamantine. So it'd be better to shove it near an adamantine reserve, which I'm pretty sure we cannot drill. Only got aluminum. We don't even have a copper mine. We don't have any research going. Uh, that's... Let's go ahead and get some four-lane roads. Cargo gondolas. It's interesting. We got trains. We got highways. Could be really useful. We could also do methane drills and pipes. I think let's go with that. And methane power plants. We, we're pretty good on power right now. I'm not too worried about it. Although I, I would want one of these, like the more power we can produce from a small area is just going to look a lot cleaner, but we can wait for a second. Let's go ahead and start getting motors and large mines. And let's see what that just looks like for now. We need to create more jobs. I'm going to hit play. I'll let it kind of just go in the background. Is there any needs? Everyone's kind of got their needs being filled. Got computers coming in. Home appliances. So we did kind of ramp that up in the last bit of the last episode. But it seems like we're still going to need more. And these guys are still having a bit of storage. So I think it's going to be good to increase this home appliance factory, right? Why can't I click that? Wait, what? I can't click a bunch of these. Like, I know we should be able to build this. What's going on? Do I have something clicked where I shouldn't have? Am I going to have to reload the game? I think so. So maybe give me a second. All right, reloaded. Still can't build it. That's not good. We really need those. Did I? Oh. Did something like update? Look at this. 
we're down on electronics. I need to kind of clear stuff out. So that went over to three. What else did we have in the way? Because we're doing four lane roads right now. Oh, methane. Okay, right there. So we'll go methane. We'll go groundwater extractor. That might be cool. We don't need it right now. Cargo carbon nanotubes. That could be good as well. But let's focus food processing. That's probably what we need next, actually, because if you look, they need good meals, home robots, and culture. What is culture? Is it this? Is it like stadiums and stuff? Probably, right? So yeah, something must have updated. Maybe the game updated and they changed the uh, requirements. So let's see, if we need culture and robots, we're going to need culture right here and robots somewhere around here. Home robots right there. So we will need this car carbon nanotube, but I think that's fine. We can go ahead and do that. And then we are going to need yellow science, but not quite yet. We should be good to kind of let the game run for a little bit longer. Aluminum. Do we have like a bunch of aluminum on its way? Because like this should be going all the time, right? I guess not. We might need to add some more aluminum down here. Uh, mines, that is. Let's see. Is this one stuck? This one's not working either. There we go. Hopefully that sends them out. Yeah, he had a ton in storage. Okay. Now let's get some roads. These technically only need to be one ways. Oops. Okay. Now we just need power be pulled over that ought to do I got three more mines uh, more jobs right we now have 900 housing and we're pretty much full on how many oh look at all these <laughs> sweet uh, we're pretty much full on houses and still probably I guess we're a little above halfway on the uh, amount of jobs we have. So, you know, we're making progress. Technically, there's nothing really bad that comes from this because, like, as of right now, we're producing everything that these guys need. So even with a half task force here, it's not like we're running out of resources. Things are still being created at the pace that is necessary. And you know what? I think I owe it to pipes. Like, the pipe industry has revolutionized this. I mean, think about how many less cars are on the street because of this. It can be really focused. Delivery truck transporting food. Yeah, so now we just need food tubes. Let's see. So we are just kind of waiting on research. I don't know why I'm doing four lane roads right now instead of electronics that should actually kind of be our next goal but we're close enough that I'm gonna just let it slide we're almost there it does take a while to produce the green signs everything's coming out here fine this road kind of stinks can we like adjust it and <laughs> I know that kind of looks trashy but Let's see, can I actually just move it back? Oh, it was the same either way, so... Okay, so we got four lane roads now. Um, I am going to start kind of slotting those in. Mostly because, again, these take... Oh, these take concrete, and we're actually... Slightly low on concrete. We'll go ahead and replace some of these. Ooh. Ooh, no, 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 no. What's the matter? Okay, hold on. We need to do a little bit of movement. Let's 
Why is it? Why is it? Oh, whoops. Okay. Okay. It's fine. Everything's fine now. Right? All of these are four lane roads. People can get through. Okay. Okay. So we got our electronics. This is actually a little bit more important. I'm going to shift. Let's create a bunch of these. And... We need electronics and plastic. So we've got a lot of electronics coming through. But they do need more electronics than they need plastic. So it might be worth it to create more electronics. Hmm. Uh, this was not really well thought out. Okay, and then let's get uh, also some plastic factories continuing. So these needed uh, crude oil, which they should all be connected by pipes right now, right? Yes. Uh, let's add also some four lane roads down here. We'll go ahead and replace. Boop, boop, boop. Especially in these industrial zones, it's going to be really nice to have these four-lane roads. Really help, uh, help traffic out. I'm going to keep it like that. We don't need to go crazy. And then let's kind of keep pushing four lane roads down here. Just really, oh, we need water. We add water. I hit pause. I don't want to pause it. In fact, I'm going to speed it up. So we do have, oh, I hit pause again. It's just a force of habit. We do have water pipes, um, but I guess we're just not producing enough water to really sustain it. So, I need to look. What can we do? We can just add another like row of water over here, not science. So if I did water right here, could I do yeah, something like that will work. So we're going to build a road up through here, around here. Nope, this one. Um, and then I am going to delete this. And then. Let's just go ahead and add a bunch of this water. This is water, right? Yeah. And then, oh. Okay, so we have methane now, which is cool. Connect those up and that should fix our water problem pretty quickly. Yeah, look at that storage all of a sudden. Okay, cool. Hopefully that didn't really hurt the population. I think it actually did. But we should be better now. Uh, we will need power on this side for these guys. Something like that. These uh, don't really need to be connected. I'd rather connect them though, uh, just for future reasons. Also to, you know, keep cars off the roads. Let's see. So we are increasing that job number slowly but steadily. We are running out of crude oil over here. So we'll go ahead and just add more um, crude oil uh, manufactories. I 
think they need to be connected to the road, even if they have pipes. So, I, I don't know for sure, though. I could be wrong. We do have methane drills. I don't have anything that needs methane, though. We also have copper mines, which we already had copper mines. It's just probably from that electricity. See, these need oil still. What are we producing? We're producing one every five seconds times six. So about 30 a second. I think it should be fine. Like, look at these. These have 19, 18. Are they connected with the pipes? They are, right? I don't know about that one right there. Is that one not connected? It should be. But maybe it's not. Doesn't seem to really connect like the other ones. If we see cars go into it, we know that it's not doing it right. Because the only thing they need is crude oil. Right? So theoretically, you'd never see a car going in there. Or truthfully, out of any of these. Okay, cool. Um, I think it's connected. Oh, look, sand. Alright, yeah, I don't think there's anything we're going to be able to do. Oh, and it's gone. Okay. Oh, it's back, and it's gone. That's super annoying. Alright, uh, let's see here. So the housing has officially maxed out. We are at max population right now uh, for the amount of houses we have. We should have all residential buildings too. So we are still kind of short on home appliances. They're not being uh, created as quickly as we'd probably like them to. We also probably need some more food as well. So let's add some more food in here. Computers and home appliances are in dire need. We also, I totally forgot that we're going to need plastic for all these too. Let's get another road out here. Kind of circles around like that awkwardly. Um, and let's get more plastics. Plastic refineries? What are they called? Factories. We're just gonna need a ton. Just gonna need a ton. Those are all connected. Good, good, good. Let's build more drills. This is going to be just a big oil factory area. Those all should be connected by pipes, right? Nope, those far ones are not. Okay. We are all connected now. No power, though. like that a little awkward but you know making it work okay that should uh vastly improve our plastic situation so we should be good to ramp up computer they seem to have more than they know what to do with so and just keep adding to them Uh, this uh, wasn't built the best, I'll be honest. But we are going to need this anyway, so probably have to do without the bonuses. We could move things up. It might be worth it. Oh, wait, there's a power line there. Yeah, that's probably the best we can do. Awkward stuff. So these don't need anything for pipes, right? No, they should be okay. Getting a little bit of a traffic jam as a lot of stuff tries to like file in. This big electronic center is a little too square, I think. Probably could have been a lot better if we space this out a bit more. We are also probably going to be running out of aluminum. 
Oh, are we researching? We are researching culture. Let's try to get large mines. What's that going to take? We were looking at it earlier, weren't we? Motors into large mines. We still have a lot of stuff on the list too. We do have culture coming in, so we should probably get ready to build that. Let's go ahead and put a road. So we do have culture now. Let's look at our whoosh. Look at that thing. I think I'm okay with this. Um, yeah, I think I'm okay with this. We could have this just be like a massive culture area. Just this street. I should have probably... Let's move these. Awkwardly. But this one doesn't... Oh, whoops. Oh my gosh. This one doesn't reach as far. So I wanted it to be a little higher. Because I plan on more expanding like this way. And the stadium reaches like forever out. So we just kept it right there. But that should increase culture. Oh yeah, look at that. Culture's 100%. Now we just need good meals and robots. Which we will be creating um, another street for here. Does that look off? No, it's definitely on. The grid's nice, but everything uh, seems a little squampus, you know what I mean? All right, let's see. Our drop count's still pretty low. How far does the, oh, whoops. No. We're at like max range with this. So if we built another neighborhood, either up or down, we'd have to build more parks, which would be fine. We have a lot of steel, not a ton of concrete. Maybe we try to ramp up production of concrete. Just needs sand and sulfur. So we could make more sulfur mines. And make more sand mines. And then just create uh, concrete factories. Something like that. You know, we just need to keep those up. Plus we got the jobs for it. And the materials. So one thing I am super worried about still is probably aluminum. Um, we do have a finite amount of resources down here. These are probably going to be really hard to connect with roads. Interesting that it let me build that. Yeah, why would I be able to build these things if they're if they're colliding? I have to like circle around these things. Research complete. We now have water distillery, nanotubes, industrial chemical lab, water distillery. So this takes five waters and creates something from it. Which we could get big bonuses for putting it near water, but we're not going to really be able to do that. So we put it here. Yeah, let's get rid of this. Can I move this power line at all? So I don't really know what these do.
Uh, so what we'll do is we'll probably delete those. What is this? This is a water pipe. Okay, then all those are connected. Probably fine. Again, I don't really know what these are doing. Distilled water. This is most likely another need that comes later. See, we also have industrial chemical, which creates industrial chemicals, and nanotubes, which takes those industrial chemicals and creates nanotubes from it with carbon. Okay. A lot of, uh, a lot of tricky stuff to do. We're going to need probably more of these little atmosphere production. As far as I know, we don't need... Oh, no, we do. We probably don't need all of them. But we need some of them. What for? This? Yeah, these steel mills. Steel mill mills. To make steel. We're also running out of power. Let's fix that. Easy fix. Again, I don't want to go like too far out though. Okay. Uh, let's see. We're up to 700 jobs. Crazy. We're researching food processing, which is going to give us a lot of stuff. A lot of complicated stuff. Thinking the electricity has got to stop at some point here. We're probably going to make like a food district over here. I move this over here. Yes. Cool. Or actually, what if I get... No, it's fine. I like it there. Okay. Oh. Oops. Keep doing that. So, like, what? Do people go into it? Research uh, res unlocked food processing. It can now build stuff. So we need fertilizer factory makes greens. Vegetable farm takes those greens and makes eatable gre edible greens. And something else that's red. Maybe fruits. And then this takes water and two little red berries and creates meat and two fruits. Not sure where you get the berries. This probably, right? No. Meal factory. So this creates the three good meals that we need. So we're going to have a whole district just purely dedicated to creating the supplies for the meal factory. Um, again, don't know what these things are. I guess we can find out. Oops, not this. So if we put down a meat lab. I'm going to hit pause. We need stem cells. And these are organic waste. Oh, it creates organic waste. We don't need organic waste. It creates it. It creates it. Um, what do you do with it? Okay, so to create this, we need sand and chemicals. To create this, we need water. Let's just start with the fertilizer. Let's see if we put this here. Then I can figure out the road situation. So if we had, um, so these, yeah, so these get a boost off each other. Um, so I think what I want to do is I want to actually keep these a bit higher or no, I'll just give them like a little space in the middle, I think. Is that possible? Not really. Should I just overload it? Because I could do that. is probably too many so if we really I'm, I'm gonna look at it here so these produce so they are gonna need chemicals 
they will need chemicals. So if we, I'm going to up chemical production by a lot. And chemicals need water. No, they need nothing. They need nothing. They just produce it. Get one more there. Uh, the chemicals then come down here. They get put into the uh, fertilizer factory with sulfur. We've got sulfur mines up here. So we'll just create more. Just so there's more room for, you know, tons of cars to be like passing each other over here. Those probably don't need to be bigger. But, you know, things like this. Gonna need to start getting pretty large. Probably fine to just replace everything. That didn't need to be bigger. But it is now. We're out of concrete. Didn't think it happened. Did not think it would happen. How are these doing? Their outgoing storage is full. Why? Is this full? See, as soon as we get to 50 concrete, I'll just... Oh my gosh. Every time. Dude. Why? What? Something like that, and maybe... Like what? Whoa. Suddenly they're flying out. Why are they suddenly recognizing that there's a thing here? It's almost like concrete just wasn't being made for a little while. Oh boy. Oh no, this is big traffic jam now. Holy cow. Not sure what happened there. But at least concrete's flowing again. So we'll go back to this. We'll replace the road. Place it here. Um, we're probably fine on that for just a little bit longer. Why? Something weird's happening there. I think it's because I, I tried to make it like a, you know, a four-way stop. And it didn't really work out like that. Okay. Look at how much concrete we suddenly have. Yeah, something was definitely jammed. I mean, there's still traffic going on here. We do need power up here. Go ahead and pull some from this one here should illuminate all of them cool okay so plenty of sulfur um and sand right no chemicals sand and chemicals okay so those are all coming in we have fertilizer being built the fertilizer instantly goes over here along with water and o2 so we do need to build some more pipes for water we'll come off like this just building under the street up over here okay so everything's got water now tons of it this is creating uh, vegetables and organic waste so then um, I don't want to look at that just yet go to the meat lab right we need water The me lab face, probably like that, right? I 
did that connect? Doesn't really look connected to anything. There we go. Okay. We go meat, meat, meat. This is like way overdoing it. <laughs> so we are kind of going overboard. And then as soon as all of that is packaged and ready to go, it can swing like all of it will swing over here, right? And turn into meal factories. We could get a, oh, we could get a bonus. I should swap these. So it's going to take more concrete and steel. And we go meal factory and we get massive uh, production bonuses from all these things next to it. Okay. So then that's taking just straight vegetables and meat and is creating uh, meals out of them. And then the meals hopefully will like swing around from this angle. I mean, I guess it doesn't super matter. They're going to go wherever they want to go. Uh, let's put one more meat factory. Ooh, we can't. All right, so we have a motor factory and a copper mill. What does that do? Copper mill makes copper ingots, and a motor factory produces motors. Good to know. We also have the stem cell lab. So this is what I was looking at, and this is actually what we're going to need for these guys, right? Oh, wait, no, hold on. Hold on, we got some more stuff to do. Okay, water real quick. Like that. And then we need to create stem cells for one of the these ones. The meat lab needs stem cells. They also all need power as well. So let's actually do power first. It'll be easier. And then I will probably won't forget it. The least intrusive I can make it does not cover everything, right? It does cover everything. We are short on power though, or about to be at least. Let's go ahead and start deleting some of these. I keep moving our solar power plants. Oh, I did not see this coming. Oh boy 150 concrete and 150 steel so like the steel is no problem we're making so much steel right now oh look our jobs our jobs are also have officially met our population demands so we're gonna need more houses too okay everything's starting to explode right now okay what do we do here we need to move these things we need to be able to create another neighborhood like this way. We've got to wrap them around the culture boxes. So let's create like another kind of grid section over here. This is kind of just guesswork. I'm just going to do this for now. And we can adjust if, if needed. Something like this. And then we come in and we just... Build some basic habitats. Yeah, not quite. So, let me go opposite side, right there. play so things continue to happen we need oxygen comes off there and is fed to all of them this one same thing and then we also need water which unfortunately is going to be just slightly harder to 
that work? Yeah, but it didn't connect. Okay, cool. So now we got water and oxygen going to all of them. We've got people moving in. We're going to need power. Can I just like move this one? Already getting a bunch of upgraded habitats. Because they've got water, survival food. So they will need home appliances. Which we're working on, we're working on. We are also going to need a ton more water. Whew. Okay. Um, I'm going to be honest. This is probably a mistake, but they're also not using water right now. We need a better way to get water out of the ground, which I thought I saw. Groundwater extraction. Right now we're researching large mines. Let's go ahead and turn that off. Let's go to that and let's do this one second. Our research is probably not up to par with what it should be producing. But we've got bigger fish to fry. A lot of stuff is starting to explode. The start of the episode didn't feel all that um, weighty, you know? And then all of a sudden it feels like, oh boy, everything's shooting all at once. Let's see. So, as these things get produced, these things are losing water. This one. So that is about to be downgraded. We are going to need more water. So let's just do it. All along here. This is always annoying when I don't start from the edge. Oh gosh. Okay, so that's water. Um, let's get more pipes in there for the water. Which is this dark blue one. Ah, oh, that's an unfortunate placement by me. Would have caught if I had built it on the road like that. Okay. So, that vastly uh, increases our job need. Luckily, we have the population to support it. We're running out of power. We've got a lot more concrete to work with, though. solar fields coming along smoothly as soon as the sun sets though it like these are, these are not optimal placements if it was actually reading solar energy power um solar readings so they also they also need a park um they're not gonna be housed by a park let's get them one big city park we could just make like little parks through here do any of these Let's make like a classic. Or do we just do big city park like right here? Because that's also an option. I think that's it. I think that's the answer. It's just, it gives us the best coverage. So now all of these should upgrade again, like rapidly. Nobody needs anything right now. We need stem cells. So now let's look into that again. I think we're about ready. Let's go industrial low tech, was it? Stem cell lab. So this takes oxygen and chemicals. So we'll just go ahead and put these down here. Get a little boost for that one. We're going to need a lot. Probably uh, how many of these produce? These produce two. We have one, two, which these all need two. So it's it should be just one for one on the building. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. And six, seven. 
So then they need oxygen. So let's get them some oxygen pipes. What is this? Didn't I not try to do this earlier and I couldn't build pipes on top of each other like this? I could have sworn I tried. I mean, they could have been updated. This game is constantly updating. It's still technically in early access. So these need oxygen. Why? Because we're not producing enough? That possibly could be the reason. We don't have a lot of space left. This is starting to get a little funky. I will be the first to admit it. So we get oxygen pipes, send it down the street. Now those should be fine on oxygen, right? Hey, we reached level four. Cool. Why do you not, why are you not getting oxygen? You are connected. This is an oxygen pipe, right? Pipe inflow per minute, 84. Outflow per minute. Total resources in pipe network, 27. Interesting. So we are making like one for one. Is that what your flow per minute is 186? Outflow per minute is 186. This is also making one for one. I mean, that, that's kind of what I'm reading there. I don't know if it's factual, if I don't know if I'm mistaking that. Uh, so we're increasing our inflow. Is that as these ramp up? We could build another one. I say we do it. I don't know how to read this. But we should be making uh, plenty of oxygen now. So anyway, all these stem cells get transported over um, to the meat labs. The meat labs then send it over. So we're starting to produce good meals like easily. Um, we should see some people starting to get them like here. Cool. What are these guys doing? They, they're all upgraded. Everything's fully upgraded, actually. So our population should go up another 150-ish and then stop again. Our power network's not looking the best. Go ahead and just cut that out. We don't need it. We'll cut this one out. Yeah, power died, so I paused it. Should be back on now. Yes, no. These are not connected. There's a flaw in my plan. There we go, right? Okay, now it's connected. Meat labs, oxygen. So things are not as stable as they could be. What are we researching right now? Groundwater extraction. So that's really what I wanted to just try to get rid of these. Get us some more space. We're also making plenty of food, it looks like. Okay, I'm just taking a minute to assess. Everything seems to be working fine. We got plenty of aluminum up here, which I was actually like pretty worried about. Electronics district is, is working out fine. Um, I will probably put electronics on the back side here. It's kind of what I'm thinking because we're gonna just we're just gonna need a bunch. Like, it's just gonna continue to expand. In fact, I feel really limited right here. We might have to like move over here into this section. It's a bit of a journey for the trucks and stuff, but you know what needs to be done needs to be done. 
This just has outstanding efficiency. That's why we're constantly running out. Is because we just can't produce on the same level that they can. 160% efficiency. You can like hear the hustle and bustle down here. Okay. So, I think that's actually where we're going to stop for today. I think this is a really good stopping point. Um, I really like how much progress was made today. This is going well. Um, it's getting complicated. This game will only continue to be more complicated. Um, our city will get bigger and bigger and it'll start to even expand like this way. I'll probably have to, you know, cut out all this power, restructure everything. I don't know if I'd go as far. Like, this is definitely going to be a highway at some point. So I don't want to look at this street as like a connection street to that street. You know what I mean? But we are just going to continue to expand. I've put these solar panels, like, most likely in the wrong spot. Because the city's trying to grow over here. What I could do is start trying to push the city in other directions. Like, we could wrap around the other side of the ridge here. Might be worth it. There's uranium up here though, so everyone who lives, you know, within a, you know, 1,000 mile radius might have cancer. But <laughs> besides that, all right, cool. Yeah, well, this is uh, this is where I'm gonna leave you. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, thank you so much. Leave me a like if you appreciated the content. Uh, don't be afraid to subscribe. Also, we do a lot of fun stuff on this channel, and it's only gonna continue to keep moving forward we did just get the groundwater extraction we're gonna save that for next time though i am not gonna look at it and until next time guys we'll see you later